What's going on guys, it's Squid here, and uh, today I'm making a new series, I'm going to show you how to build every room in your house, I'm going to pimp it out, today we're going to start with a bathroom, so yeah, this is it in uh, action, got a bath, hot and cold tap at the top, flick them on and off, whether you want hot or cold, like that, and then we've got the shower in the corner, which are, I've already done a video on, so you should know how to build that, and if you don't, I'll put the link in the description of where to get it. Um, there's a sink with a little, um, the little, uh, what do you call it? And there's the toilet. There we go, you flick it up and down and flush it. Um, yeah, so that's the bathroom, and I'm going to show you how to build it. So, let's get to it, man. Let's go. So, you're going to start off with an empty room like this. Um, it doesn't really matter what size you, you want it. It depends how much stuff you want to fit in it, to be honest, but... Yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build a sink. So what you're going to do is you're going to go two blocks out from the wall, put a stone slab down. Then diagonally from it at both sides, you want to build two stone slabs up. Get a bucket full of water, plonk the bucket in. And then we are going to put the shelf in. That's what we're going to say before, the shelf. I don't know why I can remember that, but you're going to do it three like that. And then you get two levers and you put it at either side. And this is like to hold the shelf full. It looks better, and yeah. So now we're going to make the toilet. You can use any material you want, but I'm going to use iron blocks because I think it looks the best. So you do a two by one and then another one out. And you put a trapdoor on top for the toilet seat. You put a lever on the left. And then I'm going to put a button on the right because it looks cool. And uh, that's the toilet done. And then I'm going to put two sinks in because I'm a Bausch. So yeah, you're going to put, do the same again, put the stone slabs in, put the bucket in the middle, put the shelf up, and then put the levers underneath at both sides. Now here's the fun bit, we're going to build a uh, a bath with a hot and cold tap. So what we're going to do is we are going to get some stone slabs and what we're going to do is we are going to make a little frame right around there like a like a tub and we're going to make this so you have six squares free in the middle so you build around that so it's three by two in the middle and the reason here why they wouldn't let me place them stone slabs at the end is because the torches were there which I didn't realise at this point but oh well so what we're going to do now is we're going to dig one down because I want to make it a deep bath because it looks pretty shallow at the moment. So dig one down, but this digs all the stone slabs out. So you take these out and then you just put the stone slabs in the bottom like so. And ignore this bit because I got a bit confused and a bit puzzled what to do because I forgot how to do it. But yeah, you put the stone slabs in like that again. And then you put another one on top because as you can see here, if you just put um, like one stone slab in the water will overflow because it thinks it's got another block on top but it hasn't. So yeah, you you put another block around it so it makes one full block like that. And you want to make the water nice and even like it is not, well it is now. Then what we're going to do is we're going to, up from the water, we're going to mine one above so it's like a far square so you get like a big hole like that in your wall and then we're going to get the the blue and the red wool and we're going to put the red on the left hand side for hot and then you're going to do the same on the right for blue for cold and you put two levers on top of it and then what we're going to do is we're going to come round the outside of our bathroom and we're going to put some uh, <coughs> we're going to put some pistons in this will make the water obviously come in and out when you flip the lever. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just put some stone blocks round the outside just to contain the water. So I've just done it the same dimensions as the bath. I've left a six block square. And then what we do now is we're going to fill in the bottom because we need um, like a the water to flow down instead of just sitting in that little bottom. Then what you want to do is you want to put some stone slabs above these two colour blocks and you want to place your pistons underneath them. Now as I found out here you can't do it at this angle because 
it doesn't work where you want to put your pistons, it does it at the side, so you gotta, as I do here, mine with a bucket, not very smart, but, oh well. So you look up, and you put your pistons underneath them, not like that, like so, and then you fill the block in, and you put your water in, at the at each, at each end block, like that, so one there, and one there. <coughs> now what you do is you, you come back inside your bathroom and you want to flick both of um, the levers down. This stops the water flowing. So, like so, you flick them both down, that stops the lever. You can enjoy your bath and then when you want to top it up, you can flick your levers like so. So yeah, if this video has uh, helped you build your bathroom guys, then click the subscribe and the like and I'll see you later.